The river Danube at the Slovak-Hungarian border. The bridge here was destroyed in World War II. The European Union has provided money for its reconstruction, reflecting the integration of the two countries into the EU. The Slovaks love the bridge. At the beginning of 2009, they introduced the euro, which buys more in Hungarian supermarkets. We live in Slovakia and often cross over to Hungary. Their foreign is so weak, and I think it's great that I can buy so much with my euros. Everything is much cheaper. It's bad for Hungary, but that's the way it is. But not everyone in Slovakia is benefiting from the euro. The mayor of Shamarin is trying to help some of those who are suffering as a result of his country's tough economic reforms. These Slovaks live in a retirement home that once served as a poor house. They do very little for us pensioners in Slovakia. I slaved away in the coal mine for 12 years, but I get very little. The pensions are ridiculously small. If I could afford it, I'd move into a private retirement home right away. But it's not enough, and I get no support from the state. The manager of the retirement home wants to know when a new home is going to be built. The mayor says it should be next year. He says he applied for EU funds when Slovakia joined the EU five years ago. He had better luck with a group of Italian investors. He was able to persuade them to come to Shamarin, where taxes are low, bureaucracy is minimal, and wages are modest. The main industry here is electronic parts for the car industry. Orders have fallen by half since the economic crisis began. For the workers, Europe suddenly seems far away. I'm not interested in the European elections. The economy has been getting worse and worse. I can't change that with my vote. They've never been very interested in Europe here, in the small village of Gajari near the Austrian border. In the last European elections, less than 10% turned out to vote. Here in the village pub, they long for the past. Back then, under communism, it wasn't bad. I can honestly say that. We had secure jobs. Today, if you lose your job, you have to look after yourself. In the old days, he'd be given another job the next day. They took care of it. Now he has to take care of things. The mayor of Gajari is a member of the right-wing Slovak National Party. He says the EU has shortchanged them because the village is so close to the capital, Bratislava. The idea that Europe represents more than just money, for example, democratic values and the protection of minorities, doesn't really interest him. From my work as a politician, I can assure you we treat national minorities well. After all, they're sending more children to their schools than we do to ours. All these reports about supposedly disadvantaged minorities are false. The mayor says there are no Roma in Gajari, but there are. And they are furious because the mayor refused to accept school meals subsidized by the EU on the grounds that there were no needy children in Gajari. The EU wants our children to go to school, to learn something, to have an opportunity to study. But that only works in communities where the mayor helps us make the appropriate applications for funds. And in our community, the mayor doesn't lift a finger. The Slovakian economy has made great strides since EU accession, but psychological barriers remain.